What's up everybody, this is Battlefield Channel 97 here and I'm going to be doing a video that I never thought I would do but since I got a request through private mail and you know private like messaging through Facebook and Twitter to do some kind of video like this I basically thought to myself, you know what, I'll delay the reviews that I've already delayed before like I announced before and just make a video like this and, you know, edit some things. I don't know what the picture quality of it will be through editing processes because I don't have, you know, like an HD sort of video editing in my computer. But for the most part, I wanted to at least do this kind of video that some people were, were requesting me to do through, you know, private messaging. So I'm going to be doing this. And this is like the Wii U, like the games, the guides, and stuff like that sort of collection in-depth, you know, information regarding the system for people who are at least interested for the system and people who have the system but, you know, like to at least play certain games that they may not play. But yeah, monologue aside, um, now before I tell, like, the games and all this other kind of shit, I wanted to at least talk about how and why I got the Wii U. So there was, like, a common mis misconception through social media sites of how, like, I bought a Wii U but I didn't buy a 3DS whenever I bitch and moan about a certain game that is on the 3DS that I want to play so badly, like, um, Pokemon X and Y, and then the recently announced remake remakes for Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. I can't remember exactly, um, Omega Ruby and, yeah, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, I believe. I'm not too sure if I reversed them or not. <laughs> But, like, whenever I bitch and moan about it, and people would then respond to me saying, like, Damn, man, you bought a Wii U, but you didn't get a 3DS? What the hell's wrong with you? And I'd be like, no, 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 I didn't buy a Wii U. I actually got the system as a gift, like, in early December, through a bet out of my brother. So, basically, um, this is, like, during, well, let me get the game. Like, during 2012, like, my brother and I were playing the highly anticipated Assassin's Creed 3. On that PlayStation 3, that GameStop exclusive, though, that GameStop edition. But um, going from the game, I basically played through the whole thing halfway through my brother's profile, and that ending was a load of bullshit. But I'm not going to go into that too in depth. And you know, I just stopped playing the game after that. But my brother continued on with the multiplayer with his friends and um, through trophy hunting because he's a trophy whore. And he basically needed help through the long, repetitive-ass Archimedes, I believe it was called, the Archimedes sort of guide, where he basically had to, like, find everything from an item to a person to an animal to, like, the place itself. It was, like, a long, repetitive, long task to go through. And he needed help finding, like, this certain item throughout the map. And, you know, since I've been begging and begging so much to get this Wii U, and, yeah, I was begging and begging people, because I really did want to have, like, the sort of, you know, controls and to at least play the game without the TV. That really endured me. And even to this day, I've used the gamepad more than the TV for Wii U games. And that's kind of a fact for me. That I really used a lot. So, yeah, um, I basically, you know, had this deal with my brother be like, you know, I'm going to find this certain item within the map in Assassin's Creed 3. And if you help me you know, me helping you get this sort of item in Assassin's Creed 3, you have to at least give me the Deluxe Bundle Wii U Black that included Nintendo Land and, you know, at least Mario, because I needed Mario as well for um, a Nintendo console, for Christ's sakes, people. So, yeah, um, I won that, you know, deal, like, in seconds, and he basically had to keep his word, and along alongside keeping his word, he, like, paid a fortune to get two other versions of the Deluxe set to sell them on eBay alongside two copies of New Super Mario Bros. U in order to get a quick buck. And through the end of that story, half of the money that he earned from the Wii U Deluxe set basically went into the PS4. And then half of it was, like, other stuff, like selling, like, almost, like, the entirety of the PS3 collection. There's some remnants, but, you know... More, most of the PS3 games we got is like in digital, which is kind of sad. But anyhow, let me show you the deluxe set that I got with the system. Let me just get all this stuff out of the way. I got so many boxes <sighs> alongside, you know, this room of mine. <sighs> and yeah, this is the set that I got in early December 2012. 
and that is the Wii U Deluxe set that is 32 gigabytes and had the exclusive offer of the Deluxe Digital Promotion which basically ran from the, the release date of the Wii U to the end of this year, like December 31st, 2014 I believe. Where basically you get like five dollars extra from how many times you purchase items, items purchase games through the eShop and stuff like that. Like if you pay for a game that was like $59.99, you would get like, I believe, 599 points. And if that's added up, you would at least get a $5 credit through like this specific website that you have to go on the Wii U internet browser and stuff like that. And in the deluxe set, it includes Nintendo Land, the box retail version, which I got over here, which I'm going to show later. And good lord! <laughs> These people may be joking that the Wii U is dusty, but this box is dusty. <laughs> it comes with it. Um, the Spinal, this includes even more details of what you get in the Deluxe set. The 32 gigabyte console, the gamepad, the adapters. Yeah, the adapters to charge the gamepad. Um, this for the console itself to plug in. The HDMI port in order to put in your TV for HD quality imagery. Um, the Wii sensor bar to work for Wii U and Wii games through backwards compatibility. Um, the two stands that you can use for the Wii U, which let me show you right now that I got. Um, this is one of them right here and the other that I'm using to, you know, record this video. But you can basically kind of see it right here. Um, these are the two stands that you have for your console and the retail disc of Nintendo Land. And the stylish U logo deluxe set Wii U Nintendo and blah 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 more information experience revolutionary new ways to play together and stuff like that. And ooh, this thing is heavy. <laughs> Reason why it's heavy, I put like my old dead ass PS3, the big fat ass one, over there as a resting resting ground. So yeah, that's how I got the Wii U and. Now showing you the details of what I got from the deluxe set. Okay then, now for the games currently from you know from the beginning of the Wii U to right now the retail. And then after that I'll cut away to the Wii U Game Pass showing the quick start menu that Nintendo recently inputted and my digital games and applications for the Wii U. So let me start with the first two games that I got with my Wii U Deluxe set. And that is Nintendo Land that included with the bundle that I got. And New Super Mario Bros. U, this is one of the other games that my brother got for me through the deal that I had with him. So yeah, um, let me do like a sort of a quick review for it. Um, I didn't basically play, oh shit, I didn't play Nintendo Land first because, you know, for some reason I wanted to play that New Super Mario Bros. U on that HD Wii U dough. And it was fun as hell to be able to play Mario in HD and it kind of made the new Super Mario Bros. game more lively, to say the least. And despite this being another new Super Mario Bros. game, it was kind of a fun diversion to go through and all the coins, collecting all the coins was fun as hell. And you know, despite the fact that the new isn't all sorts of new, it really is a fun game to play and the whole world map, Miiverse, kind of really shows you and kind of encourages you to at least go into Miiverse, which is like this social media exclusive social media that you can only get on the Wii U. I mean, you could go into the internet, like in your desktop, type in Miiverse on Google and you can go to the Miiverse website, but if you really want to be able to post, like if you had your Nintendo Network ID, to be able to post in Miiverse, then you basically need a Wii U and a 3DS right now, so they basically implemented it, go for it. But anyhow, I'm going off topic. Um, so yeah, this is a fun diversion. Um, I wouldn't pay sixty dollars for it to be honest. Like forty to thirty is at least a reasonable price for the game. If, it, if you got this thing like twenty new, then you got like a real good deal. Um, Nintendo Land. This is another one of those games where it's fun as hell to play with you know your friends and families. Like I remember like playing this game so much around January where there was a lot of family members playing this game, a lot of older people, a lot of younger people within my family, both of my mother and father. It really was a fun game to go by. It really would it really would be great 
if this game would have had online implemented through it, so you can basically play with your friends from Miiverse that you meet and friends that you know from Facebook and Twitter who have a Wii U, to be able to play with them through the the fun Legend of Zelda minigame, the Pikmin Adventure minigame. Oh yeah, they basically show it. Um, the Legend of Zelda Battle Quest, Pikmin Adventure, Metroid Blast, um, Mario Chase, Luigi Ghost Mission, Shit. Luigi's Ghost Mansion, Animal Crossing Sweet Day, Yoshi's Fruit Card, Octopus Dance, Donkey Kong's Crash Course, Takamaru's Ninja Castle, Captain Falcon's Twisted Race, and Balloon Trip Breeze. Now, if one of my favorite mini games in this collection is kind of ones that kind of emulate like the full blown Nintendo games. Um, the Legend of Zelda Battle Quest, Pikmin's Adventure, Metroid Blast, Mario Chase, Luigi's Ghost Mansion, and, and Animal Animal Crossing Sweet Day, and Takamaru's Ninja Castle. All the others are okay. The one that I basically hate the most is the Octopus Dance. It's kind of a poor man space channel 5 sort of way. But yeah, um, this game will be a fun diversion divergence to go for your Wii U, but it won't be one that will be on your console for that much time unless you have you know friends and families to come over all the time. So yeah, um, if you got that, then this game's a must for you. And um, yeah, I basically had those two games and other digital titles that I bought through the eShop, but that's a whole other section of the video to go by. So those kind of hold me over until Christmas of December 2012, and I basically only had two games, and those two games were on the Wii U. And that was Scribble Notes Unlimited and Marvel the, the Avengers Battle for Earth. Now, the one that gave me more replay value was Scribble Notes Unlimited because Marvel the Avengers Battle for Earth, this one I beat in like in a day or so, like the day that I got this on Christmas, which is kind of bad. But hey, at least I got free points for you play to use for Assassin's Creed 4 and Watch Dogs on the PS4. <laughs> so that's something to off topic because I really want to go in order of the games that I got. Um, Scribblenauts Unlimited, this is a fun creative title. Like they basically evolved the Scribblenauts games from the DS and the iOS. And you're able to like create like your own characters through like the custom editor. And there's a lot, a lot of stuff that you can get from a lot of people's creation. You can basically get Solid Snake, you can get like a customized Luigi I customize Luigi, despite the fact that you're able to type Mario, Luigi, Bowser on the items like the the Fire Flower and the Mushroom. You can basically get Link, Zelda, Ganondorf, and Yoshi. You, you can't get Metro. You can't Metro. You can't get Samus or any of the other Nintendo characters. But those those that I said, you can basically type in in the game, and it basically comes for you. So yeah, this game is really fun as hell. There may be a lot of stupid people on me first that post a lot of stupid shit for this game, but for the most part, this game will give you a lot of replay value, and from time to time, I put this on my Wii U, and it really is a lot of fun of how the community goes for. I really would like to get the DC um, Adventure Scribblenauts game on the Wii U, but, you know, I don't have it on me right now. <laughs> so yeah, Scribblenauts Unlimited is a fun game to get on your Wii U, but it's also available on 3DS and on PC. Um, Marvel The Avengers Battle for Earth. Now, this is one of those games, the only games that I could think of, yeah, the only game on the Wii U that basically, if this did not have a fantastic, if this did not have a fantastic, like, front box art, I would have sold the damn thing. Because this thing, this thing has short replay value, the, the combat, the fighting system, where you basically use the Wii U gamepad instead of the Kinect, because this thing used to be an Xbox 360 exclusive that uses the Kinect, and from what I've seen all, online on YouTube, from this game on Kinect, it really is a dog shit, but at least it's playable on the Wii U, because every move set you do, like you draw the arrow with your finger or with the stylus, um, you press like the guard, it works as all hell, so it, it's at least functional than the 360 version, but other than that, it really is a short game, and there's not much replay value to go for. So, yeah, it's kind of a rental at best, and maybe five and ten dollars. I can't really pay for this for fifteen, but overall, I still I still have this game because of the box art, because it really is nice as hell. And if I did have money on me, I, and if I saw this, I'd be like, whoa, 
this looks like a badass game. I'll buy this, but, you know, I had this in Christmas, and, yeah. From the front, the front cover is the best part of the game, which kind of says, it, says about it in quality. Um, and then, I basically relied on a lot more digital titles from the Virtual Console and some, some original titles on my Wii U until, you know, the day that this game was released. I can't remember what. This is like the fifth retail game that I got for the Wii U. And that is New Super Luigi U. Now, yes, <laughs> this thing is basically kind of a harder version of New Super Mario Bros. U, but with Luigi, and you know, you can play as Nabbit this time instead of New Super Mario Bros. U. And, but I, I, I just couldn't help it. I'm a Luigi fanboy. I fucking love the dude. I mean, Christ, look, wait, where's the thing? Yeah, I have a freaking flag of Luigi. I'm a fucking fanboy to him. <laughs> but even, but even then. There still is some bits off here that is original. You can play as Nabe, as the Luigi's like mighty jump that he can basically like stay up the air. It's there, and there's like all new courses. You can play through like 82 new courses that are basically like different. Like it's not the exact same levels from New Super Mario Bros. U, but they kind of tweak it a little bit to fit for Luigi's character and his move set. So at least it's kind of nice and different from it, but. They're, they're, they're basically like two options that you can get for New Super Luigi U. One, you can get the retail version, which I got. Like, they're basically three options, <laughs> now that I think about it out of the air. Um, there's three options. One, like I did, you would get the retail version, which is basically like the only Wii U game that is like light green. The same color as Luigi's, you know, attire and his hat. Um, two, as a downloadable, co uh, downloadable content. For New Super Mario Bros. U, this is basically like twenty dollars. This thing is like um forty dollars or thirty dollars from retail when it was new. But even then, I, I bought it just for the case and to at least play as Luigi because I'm a fucking fanboy to him. <laughs> and the third option, from what I saw out of GameStop, you can basically get New Super Mario Bros. U, New Super Mario Bros. U, and New Super Luigi U, like in one game, like in one one collection. From what I saw on GameStop, where they basically sold the collection for like $80 used or like $70 used but yeah that's kind of like a true story from what I saw I didn't know if there's like a new retail copy of the collection for the new Super Mario Bros. game on the Wii U but those are like three options you can have for new Super Luigi U to get and you know another option to get for new Super Mario Bros. U <laughs> so yeah that was kind of the fifth one and those games kind of held me over until at the end of 2013 when I got Super Mario 3D World. And by fucking god, as I stated before in previous videos, this was like my best game of 2013. Beating The Last of Us, beating GTA 5, and beating Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. And I, I never thought this game would be fucking Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon and The Last of Us, but this, this game is the definition of a video game. Like, it, it's pure nostalgia, it's pure... It's pure fun, to be honest with you. And it would be fun to have at least an online function to play with your friends, like, you know, from Facebook, Twitter, and all that other kind of stuff with them, but, you know, you can play as the ghosts. You know, if that kind of makes you feel any better. But overall, this game has a lot of replay value to go by, and the final, final levels where you basically have to go through all these challenges, they're like the hardest levels within a Mario game. You, you, you're gonna fucking screech, your, screech the heavens to beat the final, final, final levels within New Super, uh, Super Mario 3D World. And to be honest with you, and I'll be honest, I haven't beaten the final, final level, like one level left, because I was fucking done, I was pissed off, I was like, no, going all over it. But overall, if you got a Wii U and you don't have this game, shame on you, get this fucking game. So that's something. Um, and I basically got like five retail games as of this year, because like last year I only had like, what was it? One, one... I basically had like two retail Wii U games, which is kind of sad. But this year I have like five freaking Wii U games in retail. And I think I might have showed this in the channel, but like, um, 
Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut for the Wii U, and I stated it before in Facebook, Twitter, and I think YouTube, that this is the definitive way to play Human Revolution on consoles. And I say consoles because on PC you got the mods, you got all this other kind of stuff that only the PC can do. But overall, this is the definitive version to play Deus Ex Human Revolution on consoles. Like, the whole inventory slot, the map, everything is on the gamepad itself. Like, this game, this game only has the gamepad as a requirement. You can't use the Pro Controller, you can't use any of the other kind of stuff. And, to be honest with you, this is the perfect way to play Human Revolution and Deus Ex all together. But it kind of sucks that the next Deus Ex game isn't going to come on Wii U. Because, you know, Square Enix just fucked the Wii U version compared to the 360, the PS3, and the PC version, because those were cheaper to get compared to the Wii U version. But yes, you know, going over the past struggles for this version aside, this game is definitely a worth owning. Like, this is one of those third-party games that is well worth owning for the Wii U. And even though I had this game on the PS3 thanks to the PS Plus, it was good to get this game as a gift for my birthday. So yeah, overall, if you don't have this game on your Wii U, shame on you, get this fucking game. This is one of those third party games to get. Oh, well, yeah. One of those third party games, I'm on side, like, Scribble Knots Unlimited as well. Um, another third party game <laughs> was Tekken Tag Tournament Wii U Edition. This is another third party game that is definitely worth owning to get on the Wii U itself. This is basically Tekken Tag Tournament 2, but it has all of the DLC that came with this version and plus stuff that is exclusive to the Wii U as it's dubbed the Wii U Edition. Now let me read it off to you for the exclusive features that only the Wii U version of Tekken Tag Tournament 2 has. It's got Mushroom Battle, it's got Tekken Ball, the legendary Tekken Tag Tekken Ball back but it's only on this version. Um, exclusive costumes like you get to dress one of the characters as Ganondorf, Zelda, Mario, Luigi, Zerosu Samus, Fox. It, it really is a fun it, it, it's fun it's fun to play as Marshall Ball but as Luigi. That is fucking ballin' to me. Um the touch panel moves, like if you don't really want to do like like if you're playing on the gamepad and you really have a hard time trying to do like maneuver moves and stuff like that, and you don't have like a pro controller on you, you can basically use the touch panel moves to get you far throughout the game itself. So it really is kind of a good way to go by, but even then, this game has a lot of content for you to for you to go over. So just like with Deus Ex Human Revolution, Director's Cut, and Scrolling Outs Unlimited, this is one of those game third party games to get on the Wii U. This is one of those third party games to get. If you don't have this, shame on you. <laughs> I'm just a catch first. Um <laughs> the other one that basically got my dawn risen, you know what I mean, is that Tropical Freeze, though. <laughs> um, I basically did a review on Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, um, I'll leave the description below, stuff like that, blah blah blah, maybe in the video, but I do have to say, Tropical Freeze from, you know, reiterating my points of the game, this state has a lot of content, a lot more harder than any of the Mario games, like if you were, you know, thinking the Mario games on Wii U were easy as hell, this game will get your dog hardened a lot. But it's not like that hard compared to like the original Donkey Kong Country, not original, the Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Wii, for the original Wii. But even then, there's a lot of content to go by. Um, the, the speed trials, and to go by, and the banana collecting, the stars, not the stars, yeah, um, the DK coins and stuff like that. There's a lot of content and replay value to go for Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. If you don't have this game, shame on you, and fuck you if you don't get your dawn risen for this. Just saying. Um, another racing game for the Wii U is Need for Speed Most Wanted U, the U edition for Most Wanted. Now, this, I can definitely say, is the only EA game to own for the Wii U. This isn't no bullshit fuck up of a version like Mass Effect 3, any of the FIFA or Madden games. This has, this is definitive. Like, if you were going to say this shit to Black Bomb's face, definitive version. They should have called this Need for Speed Most Wanted Definitive You. Go for it.
I don't know if I fanboyed about it. <laughs> but overall, this game, just like with Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Wii U Edition, there's a lot of stuff that this version has that, you know, this version has that the other version, like the 360, the PS3, and the PC, don't have. And it really does say it right here. Um, you get a co-driver mode. Um, you can have like instant changes on the touch screen, like you may take changes out of the cars, the plates. Um, you can play the game on the gamepad alone, you don't need the TV and stuff like that. And you know, it includes all the DLC that the PS3 and the 360 version, you know, got. Like the Ultimate Speed Pack, that included 5 extra cars. 25 additional challenges and 70 and 70 additional milestones for the full game itself. So this has a lot more content in the game itself. And despite online being sort of a ramp fest, it really is fun as hell to go by. So overall, this is one of the only EA games as of right now to be well worth owning for the Wii U and another third-party game with a lot of content for you to buy. If you don't have this game, and if you hate EA, shame on you, because this is one of those games that you should definitely buy. And finally, the pastry resistance. And that is that Mario Kart 8. I don't want to put more thoughts on this because I have a review on it, so I'm sorry, but overall the game is fun as hell. There's some problems that I got with the game itself, especially the online portion of it. I don't know if it's me, my problem with my route and stuff like that, but overall, it's fun as hell, Mario Kart, what to expect. You'll at least see my full review of the game, I believe, after this video. But overall, it's fun as hell. If you don't have this game on your Wii U, or if you didn't buy Wii U through this game and its promotion to get another game for free, like how I got Wind Waker HD, shame on fucking you. And overall, those are all of my retail games that, wait, let me just... And, this are, and these are all my retail games on the Wii U. Look at that. Look at that pile. Look at all of this pile itself. Yeah, Wii U doesn't got any games, right? Doesn't got any. Okay, wait, wait. Before I do the quick start menu and, you know, my digital titles and applications aside, I forgot to at least include the Wii U Pro Controller, which is... Another control option that you can use to play your games and stuff like that on the Wii U. Now, what I can essentially say for the Wii U Pro Controller is that it's basically Nintendo's version of the Xbox 360 controller. But yeah, um, let me go over a little bit of history now. I didn't actually get Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, at least, you know, since I didn't have it in my collection. I at least rented it through Gamefly, and my brother at least had the Pro Controller in his, you know closet around launch and he didn't really sell the thing yet so you know I thought you know can I at least have this you know it's like some gift for me and you know he's like yeah whatever I'm not even gonna get much for this thing anyway so yeah I basically had the Pro Controller and I used it for Monster Hunter and it's so much better to play this game with the Pro Controller I mean I'm not much I, I didn't really put much in depth with Monster Hunter 3 because I had a, like a, no, I had other games with me to play on the 360 and the PS3. And you know, it's kinda sad that I don't really have it on my collection, but overall, this this controller is ideal to use for Monster Hunter 3 or any other game. Like if you're really comfortable with the Xbox 360 controller, like let me get a comparison. If you're comfortable using this controller, then you'll at least be welcome with this, despite it having you know different placements with the thumbsticks. But, you know, overall, like, this thing is exactly like the 360 somewhat. Like, the 360 is a lot heavier, you know, with the, you know, the battery pack, and it has, like, a lot of durability with, like, the, you know, handling of the, you know, controller. This thing feels a lot more lighter, and you can basically, like, throw it like a boomerang, and it'll come back to you with, like, the Pro Controller. Because it's not really that much. Like, it's kind of lean. doesn't have really the battery pack, which is... A, great as hell and it even includes like this one it includes like the charging the charging cable for the pro controller you can put it on any usb device you can put it on the 360 the ps3 the ps4 the, the xbox one anything that has a usb and this thing will charge as hell which is really really good as hell just like with you know the outlet with the pro, pro controller. it's like the gamepad itself 
yeah. But overall, you know, placement is nice as hell. The triggers, they kind of suck, to be honest with you. They, 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 do, the, they do the job done, but it really is nice to have, like, at least some kind of impact, just like the 360 gamepad. Gamepad. <laughs> the 360 controller, but, you know, this thing, you really need to push hard as hell in order to get. I haven't really used this for shooters, but, you know, using this for virtual console games and retail titles like New Super Mario Bros. U, um, New Super Mario Luigi U, Super Mario 3D World, Tekken Tag Tournament, Wii U Edition, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, Need for Speed Most Wanted U, Mario Kart 8, etc, etc, etc. Using this controller is really nice as hell, and, you know, it kind of really... I mostly use like the gamepad as sort of like a display, like a second TV, when I'm too lazy to look at my TV, which is high as hell towards my bed. I'm just like this to the gamepad, going like this, and it really is a fun time, a, a, you know, memories you can think of when you're like an adult, stuff like that. But overall, this is a really nice addition to have for in, in your Wii collection, and you know, stuff like that. If you're really comfortable with the 360 controller, then you're definitely going to be at home with this thing, despite the triggers, you know, sucking somewhat. So yeah, Pro Controller, good as hell. Now for the Quick Start Menu Guide, and you know, my digital games and application. Hello everybody! <laughs> um, now I'm in this point of view to at least showcase the Quick Start Menu that at least been implemented recently for the Wii U systems. So I'm going to basically showcase this, showcase this, I'm basically going to showcase this right here, right now. So when you basically boot up the system, you've got this menu to go by with you. And on the TV, it basically has like there's no single, but then you have to wait for a few seconds in order for the Wii U logo to come. But you have to at least choose like the recent applications you use for the Wii U itself. And it'll basically showcase like the recent applications and games that you've, you know, used like the last time that you booted up the system and you know on the top it basically oh shit my stylus um, on the top of it it basically showcases like um, an ad somewhat to like the eShop so let's go into the details shall we um, this is the recently promoted limited time offer for Mario Kart 8 so basically I don't know if I can focus on this camera focus it focus Okay, fuck it. I'm just gonna read it. Um, the reminder of registering Mario Kart 8 with Club Nintendo, like before, like in a certain time of July, and you get one of the downloadable title of games. This is for North American audiences, and in the UK, you have a lot more options, like I believe eight or so more. Us, we get like four titles: New Super Mario Bros. U, Wind Waker HD, We Party U, and Pikmin 3. Me, I picked Wind Waker HD because I didn't really want to play Wii Party U, and I don't really have much people that comes with my house. Comes to my house. I already have New Super Mario Bros. U, and I even had New Super Luigi U in retail, and I already played Pikmin 3 through Gamefly. I was, you know, kind of impatient to get the thing in retail, and you know, I don't really want to pay full price for the game because I already played all the way to the end. Which is kind of sad. But overall, at the top of the quick start menu, it basically showcases an ad. The last time, the last ad that happened was like the E3 sale that Nintendo had. Basically, I like the Wind Waker's link promoting it. And right here is the application and games that you go for. Recently, I played Mario Kart 8 for a few hours. Recently used Miiverse, the internet browser, the friends list to at least see if an Ultra is there so I can, you know, have, get a seat. <laughs> the daily log, which I go through every single day to at least see how much hours I put. Had like maybe like 40 or 50 hours with the internet browser, <laughs> 40 to 50 hours with Miiverse, <laughs> and you know, 20 to 30 hours in Mario Kart 8. Um, the Wii menu for, you know, playing Pandora's Tower. Um, the Pac-Man collection, Hulu Plus for my Sailor Moon goodness. The YouTube app to at least see if the thing was good or not, because I was kind of curious. And the Nintendo eShop to see if there was any, you know, deals and stuff like that. And, you know, there's the settings you can go for. And you have, your, you know, your alert volume if there's like ads and stuff like that. You can put mute, low, or high. And you can basically hear it. So, mute, low. 
yeah, the volume is high for the gamepad. And hi. So like if there's like a new promotion, a new promotional ad that Nintendo puts, you can basically hear it, which kind of sucks that we don't have any notifications, online notifications, but you know notifications for their ads and games. That's something no. And like you know, if you want more about the Quick Start menu, it tells you. And the Wii menu, like if you have like a Wii title, and if you know if you didn't have like the Wii menu over here you can basically just go here and meet oh no no not the Wii oh lord I didn't even see that um you didn't want to go to the quick start menu you can just immediately go into the Wii U menu wait 30 to 40 30 you wait like 30 seconds or so and you can basically just see all of your games or applications that it's good that I'm gonna show as after this segment and you know you basically see the Wada Wada Plaza but I'm going ahead of myself so yeah um to at least showcase the the feature of the quick start menu let's go into Mario Kart 8 and you know the profiles this is me hi <laughs> and normally it would take much longer to boot up Mario Kart 8 because I had to boot up the Wii U and that takes like 30 seconds or so but with this it eliminates that 30 seconds and it basically becomes I believe the same or maybe like 10 seconds decrease in order to get you something that you want so yeah, here's Mario Kart 8 and it's loading. This is like the disc. And you can basically see this on the TV as well. And here it is. And that shows the quick start menu for a game in retail. Now for the digital games and applications on my Wii U. So now we're going to the Wii U menu now. This is me, my brother, and my mother, you know, to show for the meme maker and stuff like that my name and my Nintendo Network ID if any of you want to you know battle me in Mario Kart 8 and stuff like that or just be friends in Miiverse <laughs> so yeah this is my me and stuff like that start with this user preparing and here is the you know application and games on my Wii U I base and you know stuff like that and you can basically have this kind of menu and the Wada Wada Plaza but you know, I'm just gonna go on the gamepad itself because it's much easier for me in my hand. <laughs> so overall, this is like the menu that you have that's kind of similar to the DS and the 3DS to showcase. It's not like the channel, the channels in the in the, in the original Wii. This is basically sort of like a nice, clean, portable um, kind of menu and stuff like that. So this is all the digital games and applications and the retail game like Mario Kart 8 on the top left side and you can basically touch this side in the corner or press the X button on the gamepad. I'm just going to show the touch. Go over here and you can see the Water Water Plaza on your gamepad instead of the TV and you know reversal you can see all your digital games and applications on the TV. So basically the Water Water Plaza is basically the most popular games or most popular application oh no no popular yeah the most popular communities within Miiverse which is the social community site social community site the social community sort of site that Nintendo has made for the Wii U at first but now oh shit my oh shit the battery's dying <laughs> wait and that was an embarrassing sort of cut <laughs> So yeah, um, the you know the charge USB, not USB, the charge that you get for the deluxe set, or I believe the ori the original set, or any other bundle you get for your Wii U, you basically have this to charge your gamepad through the outlet, which is nice as hell because you know the gamepad's battery is kind of bad in some regards. So anyhow, going back to what I said before, you know the bad battery and stuff like that is the Water Water Plaza. So it's basically like the most popular communities within me first right now that many people are discussing and talking about and there are some games that are not <laughs> Nintendo games and stuff like that but you know let's go into the route itself you can basically move the camera press the start or the select button I don't know if you can see it from the lighting but you can zoom in and out right, let's go for it hi me <laughs> and then playing in the internet browser oh and Hi, Dina. <laughs> Going for and yeah, and stuff like that. You can move like the camera and all the other kind of jazz in the Water Water Plaza, 
and these are like the popular communities right now. The Super Smash Bros. series, you can basically talk about a lot of shit and request the Sakurai that you want Goku so badly. <laughs> Um, the NES Remix series, which has NES, NES Remix 1 and 2 combined together, and stuff like that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let me go in order. Uh, yeah, and then, you know, there's some users that displays their drawings and displays their messages through each community and stuff like that. And this is the YouTube community that's a lot more popular. It's got a lot of nice drawings, like this one right here. Um, Another World, the 20th Anniversary Edition, Pushmo World, or in Europe, and I believe Japan, Pool Block World. I know if Japan is the Pool Block World, but you know, I didn't believe it. And you know, a nice drawing. Um, the Wii Sports Club community, which is a lot popular with a lot of players. The Nintendo E3 2014 community, which I don't know why Nintendo still has that community open, considering E3 has been, you know, weeks over <laughs> but yeah it's still going about and a lot of people are getting pissed at Phillips <laughs> um, the Legend of Zelda the Minish Cap this is one of those virtual console communities this is like the Game Boy Advance game and you know how to survive or basically I thought how to school or heist to school or something like that that's the first time I saw it and finally the pastry resistance Mario Kart 8 a lot of people posting a lot of YouTube videos of the game through Miiverse and in YouTube and stuff like that. And look at that, a nice drawing to encapsulate the Wada Wada Plaza. So yeah, now to press the X button. I don't know if you can see my, yeah, you can see my finger right now. Press the X button or you can tap on the top right corner. And a nice drawing of Torchic. <laughs> so yeah, um, on the front tab of the Wii U, of the Wii U, basically showcases like the retail disc space games that you got so like on the top left corner you would have like a Wii U game like Mario Kart 8 or if it's like a Wii game it basically shows like the Wii logo and it then transfers you to like Wii mode which is basically like reboots itself to like an original Wii console or you can basically do that like in the Wii menu itself but you know for convenience sake you would just play the game on this side so yeah, for me, I arrange all of the applications that are non-games on the first one for whatever reason. I kind of like that. And then when you open the next one, it's boom, games. <laughs> so yeah, um, the second is the meme maker. You make your memes and stuff like that. And if you transfer, I, I believe, like if you transfer all your data from the original Wii to the Wii U, all the memes that you had on the original Wii would be on the Wii U itself. Well, not on the Mii Maker, um, the, oh, the Wii mode, the Wii mode, like if you boot your Wii U to the Wii, like through here, all the Mii's go into there. Um, the system settings that you go to, Netflix, Hulu Plus, that's, you know, kind of saying, YouTube, Ubisoft, shitty Uplay service, Amazon Instant Video, the Wii menu, as I stated before, the daily log, now the daily log, is basically like it showcases like if, like what what you do on your Wii U and it tracks it like from seconds to minutes to hours. So for example, me I put a, I put in a lot more hours in Miiverse, Internet Browser, and the occasional Nintendo game, like in 30 to 50 hours at least, because you know I kind of look for the fantastic drawings on Miiverse. I really go into the hunt, go into North America, Europe, and Japan. Um, the internet browser because the internet browser on this system is fantastic as fuck <laughs> and you know the occasional Wii games like Donkey Kong, Mario and stuff like that they're well deserving of 30 hours so yeah I, I can show it to you but I don't want to delay this video anymore um, the parental controls for any of you parents out there who are responsible and actually give a shit what your kids do the health and safety information I haven't really tried this one but you know I got the manual for that. The Wii U chat, which you can talk to anybody in the world one-on-one -on -one with shitty camera quality on it. I don't know, I kind of find this thing useless, and I really would have liked to have voice chat. You know, voice chat that is implemented on the gamepad a lot more than this one-on-one -on -one Wii U chat. That is a separate application instead of, like, a, a feature in the entirety of the system. But that's just me. Um, the Wii Street U powered by Google application. This is like one of those applications that used to be free for Wii U owners to download, but now you have to pay 
don't know, maybe five dollars or so. This is off the top of my head to basically have you know Google Maps on your Wii U, and basically you're like in the like if you were like on a bus and you see like the point of view of the streets or whatever. That's basically what I could say. The experience for a Wii Street U powered by Google. It's a fun distraction to have, but I wouldn't pay you know the five dollars or so that now you have to do for this title. So it's at least nice that I got this for free. Um, the Wii U Panorama View trailer. This is basically showcasing just like the Wii Street U. That basically this thing is like movable. You see like the entire fireman is like Japan, um, Brazil, I believe, and two other locations that I can't think of off the top of my head. But you have to pay money in order to see these, you know, places in the world. But there's only like four of them, which is kind of eh. And if I really did have money and a job on me, I would waste my money on it, but I don't know, I would waste it on the virtual console games. But speaking of the virtual console games, this is the second tab that I have for my Wii U, and there's a lot of virtual console games on here. And there's like two more virtual console games on the third tab, but I'm going ahead of myself. So yeah, there's a lot of games from the NES, the SNES, and recently the Game Boy Advance. Sucks that I still have no Genesis. No Master System, hell, no Dreamcast, or you know all the other things that we got from the original Wii. But you know I'm getting ahead of myself over there and may do another video on that. So yeah, here are my virtual console games: Balloon Fight on the NES, F Zero for the SNES, Punch Out featuring Mr. Dream, not Mike Tyson for the NES, Kirby's Adventure for the NES, Super Mario World for the SNES, Super Metroid for the SNES. Super Mario Bros. 2 for the NES, Yoshi for the NES, Donkey Kong for the NES, Earthbound for the SNES, and now the Game Boy Advance games, Advance Wars and Metroid Fusion, Super Mario Bros. 3 for the NES, the original, the originator of platformers, redefining the genre, genre Super Mario Bros., um, Game Boy Advance, Pac-Man Collection, um, Game Boy Advance, Yoshi Island, Super Mario Fans 3, and NES or Famicom Port Pac Clan. So, yeah, I got a lot of virtual console games in this collection. I got like the trilogy of the Mario series, the first, the US version of 2, and Super Mario Bros. 3, and stuff like that. So, at least I got a collection of good old games, and stuff like that. And now for the original titles for the Wii U and you know it's released on other consoles as well um, the Mighty Switch Force games, Mighty Switch Force Hyperdrive Edition, Mighty Switch Force 2 The Cave, Puddle, Kung Fu Rabbit, this is like an iOS game but you know it's nice to play on the Wii U um, Sin Pinball 2, Art Academy Sketchpad, Tank Tank Tank, this is the free to play version of it you can get it in retail and has all the content in it, but in the free-to-play version, you have to pay for all of that on the eShop, microtransactions, stuff like that. Um, Mutant Mutts Deluxe, Wii Sports Club, same thing as Tank Tank Tank. There's going to be a retail version coming for North America, Europe, and it's already released in Japan, I believe. But yeah, you have to pay for sports separately, or you have to pay for them like in specific times, but you know, I'm not into that shit. And I'm waiting for the full retail version of the game. Um, NES Remix, I still have not gotten the sequel of it yet, but I will soon. The um, Edge, Star Wars Pinball, um, the Toki Tori two games, Toki Tori 1, Toki Tori 2 Plus, um, DuckTales Remastered, Dungeons and Dragons, Chronicles of Mysteria. It has like another Dungeons and Dragons game with this, you know, game. Um, trying to Director's Cut. Dr. Luigi, Rush, Spin the Bottle, Bumpy's Party, Bit Trip Percent, Runner 2, Feature Legend of Rhythm Alien, you say that three times, <laughs> um, Gijinya, Gijinya, oh, whatever, The Sisters, Twisted Dreams, Need Water, stuff like that, <clears throat> um, Block Trip U, this is a fun puzzler, exclusive for the Wii U, it's cheap as hell to get, um, Child of Light, Wind Waker HD, this is one of the games that Oh my god, another freaking cut. Oh god. Um the excuse this time, I'm um, my phone had like full on storage for photos and videos and stuff like that. 
so I had to delete some things in order to save up for this kind of clip itself. So yeah, um, the cutaway, this is the Wind Waker HD, one of the games that I got for Mario Kart 8, put in the code for Club Nintendo. And if you're going to get Wii U and Mario Kart 8 during the time of the promotion, I suggest you do so in order to get another free game to play for your Wii U. And if you're on the UK, oh, look at the blue blinking useless light <laughs> going in. Um, if you're in the UK, you have a lot more options and you have a really nice diverse library in order to choose which game you can have for Mario Kart 8. So I hope you at least go, for that, we'll go over that offer. Um, GOM, this is a puzzler by Block U, but much more simplistic or compared, I don't know if that's a word, simplistic or um, simplistic compared to Block Trip U. And you know, it was like one or two dollars, if I believe, in the eShop. Um, Rayman Legends Challenge, this is like one of those apology letters that Ubisoft and Ubisoft Montreal did for Wii U owners for delaying the Wii U version to, you know, make PS3 through 60 and PC and, <laughs> and the Vita version of Rayman Legends. And, you know, you they at least got, gave Wii U owners the chance to play the game early through the challenge mode. And you, this basically just transferred to the full game itself, I believe the community of this and the only demo I have for the my system is the Sonic Lost World. And the only reason I have that still is, you know, when I finally do get Sonic Lost World, all the you know things I did for the demo will transfer to the full game. And yeah, this is my games and applications for the Wii U itself. Um, I didn't really need to delete anything from my Wii U as of yet. This thing hasn't fully, you know, stored up to like the 32 gigabytes I had out of it. But I will find like a hard drive in order to make this even more and fill up all the other tabs because as of right now, I only have like one more tab in order to fill up. Like one more. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to be able to do it, but I will find some way to go for it. Anyhow, leave your thoughts, opinions, and comments on my experience with the Wii U. And if you were interested in getting a Wii U from, you know, how the fantastic showing that Nintendo had on E3 and games that basically sought your interest to get it, well, you know, this video might help you get it or not. But overall, leave your comments, thoughts, and opinions below. And like, favor, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and, you know, how I might have been informative to the whole thing and stuff like that. And, you know, this is Battlefield Journey 7. Have a nice, wonderful day.